what I have for you today is a short case from Finland about whether a taxpayer had to use Finnish GAP accounts for its transfer pricing documentation or whether it had or whether it could use US GAP. Now uh, this is an interesting question because if you think about it, you know, should your transfer pricing documentation be based A on your tax return numbers, B on your local GAP numbers, or C on your group GAP numbers? And different people give different answers. The fact is that most countries' laws do not say anything particular about that. I was once uh, fortunate to to be um, talking to a whole group of tax inspectors. Uh, I think there was about a hundred in the room. Um, on, 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 on transfer pricing, and I asked them this question, and they could vote, you know, which, what did they believe? And, and, and the division was probably about 20% said uh, the tax returns, and then the rest was split more or less evenly between local gap and, and group gap. Um, and, and the argument that you very often hear about the group uh, local gap is that that's where the tax inspector starts when it looks at the transfer pricing audit. And I asked them. You know, do you start by looking at the company's local GAAP accounts? And most of them said, no, we don't. So um, let's see what the court said about this decision. Now, this decision is in Finnish. Um, Google Translate is not always perfect from Finnish to English, but uh, I do believe it is still understandable. So let's, let's see what's going on. <clears throat> Here is the structure. We've got the US group called A Corp, and then we've got various European distributors, and we've got AAB. It's unclear to me whether it's AAB or AOI. It is anonymous in any case. Um, and both the European distributors and AAB had a TNMM of 0.5% of EBIT over turnover. And we look at the facts. A Corp used US GAAP to determine its PLI, its EBIT over turnover, for its group distributors, PLI being your profit level indicator. The margin was set at 0.5% based on a benchmark that included loss-making companies and comparability adjustments. That margin has been accepted in the multilateral APA between Germany, Spain and the UK. And what happened here was uh, these were manufacturing countries, but they made an, uh, they, they made a um, APA, it seemed, that agreed that the distributors for these manufacturers would have a TNMM of 0.5%. So one would assume that the manufacturers in the group somehow were the, 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 the fully-fledged ones who were bearing the, the, the residual profit and, and, and risk losses. Um, and the margin has also been approved, the 0.5%, by the tax authorities of France, Switzerland and Belgium in, in different years. Now, in 2010, there was a timing difference of income between US GAAP and Finnish GAAP, and, and I will explain what was going on there in, in, in the next slide. But in any case, the, the taxpayer made an adjustment and filed a correction return to adjust its results downward to be at the US GAAP of 0.5% TNMM. <clears throat> but the Finnish authorities rejected the taxpayer's correction and adjusted AAB's result not only to 0.5% on, on based on Finnish GAAP, but it said, you know, also 0.5% is not right because your benchmark includes loss-making companies and that actually should be um, excluded and therefore they adjusted to 1%. And they also rejected the taxpayer's uh, comparability adjustments. It's not quite clear to me what these comparability adjustments were, so I'm not paying a lot of attention to that. I don't think that's the, what's important in this case. The taxpayer appealed. It lost his appeals on the above issues before different levels of the courts be, and before ending up at the Supreme Administrative Court. But the Helsinki Administrative Court already did accept the use of US GAAP, and the Finnish authorities then appealed this decision as well, right? So um, these, this is the background to the case. And a 10 second commercial. If you want to learn more about international taxation or transfer pricing, or treat yourself to an all round update, or if you want your team to learn or stay updated, please visit my online courses. Let's see what happened. Now, now first of all, just for those of you who are interested, <clears throat> this is what happened between 
US GAAP and, and, and Finnish GAAP. And to summarize, it seemed that under Finnish GAAP, you recognize sales when the sales were made. Under US GAAP, for that particular year in 2000, and the, 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 sale, the, the sales were recognized when the invoices to retailers actually have been paid. Um, and that caused the timing difference. Uh, and then in 2016, the system was reversed again, and, and it seems like US GAAP and Finnish GAAP were back in sync. That if you look at the last paragraph, it said the difference in turnover between US GAAP and Finnish GAAP have almost completely leveled out, right? And that was just part of the background of, of what happened to this case. And then, and then the Supreme Court decision is rather short. Um, <clears throat> but with regard to, 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 to the US GAAP, Finnish GAAP issue, it says taking into account that in A group, the consolidated financial st statements are prepared according to US GAAP and that the group's sums for pricing is monitored based on the accounts kept according to US GAAP. The Supreme Administrative Court considers that A or his level of an arm's length profit can be determined according to US GAAP. It doesn't say that it must be. It says that it can. In other words, you can also use IFRS or you can also use um, local GAAP. But, uh, but, but, but the group here argued you know, that it's much easier to use group GAAP because it's much more consistent across the different countries. And um, I, can, I can definitely confirm that having worked in groups where, where the uh, margins have been calculated according to local GAAP. And it, and it can give nightmare scenarios in, 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 in some countries. And then finally, with regard to, to the 1%, um, the, the, the Supreme Court says the Finnish tax protection has not signed or approved the APA, which, which approved the 0.5%, and the agreement in itself does not bind the Finnish tax administration, right? And, and that is true. I mean, a, a APA uh, that doesn't include a country does not bind that country, but it must have some persuasive value. Um, and therefore, the court also goes on to say, taking into account that the Commission has recommended the use of APAs, probative value must be given to the APA. And I think this is a, a fair statement made by the court. Um, it then goes on to say the tax authorities of some other countries have also accepted the profit level of the limited distribution company according to the advance agreement as market conditions. And then when in addition to these factors is taken into account that according to the OECD transpricing guidelines, loss producing peers that meet the conditions of comparability should not be rejected solely on the basis that they suffer losses. The Supreme Administrative Court considers that I, OI, here you see they talk about OI, not RBA, um, according to the US GAAP accounting standard, determined the profits of 0.5% has been market-based in the present circumstances. In other words, a OI could use the 0.5% based on US GAAP. This is a short case. Um, the facts are relatively clear and straightforward, even though the language was definitely not. Um, but I think it is nonetheless interesting because it, it, it raises this issue that you don't see answered in many places where at least under Finnish law, uh, multinationals are allowed to use their group gap numbers to determine their their T and M margins, and one would assume their their, their cost plus and their and, and and their resale price margins, as well, um, which might make life a little more easy for a number of in-house departments if they were to follow this practice. I look forward to joining you at our next case that we'll discuss next week. Bye for now.